everyone how are you today we are starting one new topic of aws event based solution we will trigger event based on one service operation and capture the event for further processing uh, so when i say event the first thing that might come to your mind is aws event bridge you are correct we will use aws event bridge to capture events from coming from aws ec2 instance state change then we will trigger the lambda and that lambda will trigger sns topic for notification to users uh, this is very useful in couple of use cases where we might want to know if our ec2 instance has been terminated uh, due to some issues or some misconfigurations other use cases also there uh, like if we want to process some events after we capture it uh, like trigger a new service based on the events so this series is divided into three sections uh, the first one is the introduction of what we will be doing in a nutshell. The second one, we will be the implementation of the infrastructure with AWS CDK and Python. The third one will be the testing. Yes, you heard it correctly that we will use AWS CDK and Python to deploy our infrastructure. So if you are new to this channel, kindly like, share, subscribe and comment your thoughts. Uh, let me know what you liked and what you didn't like. I will try to make some recommended videos from you guys if you have any. Uh, so sit tight and enjoy. So we have to understand uh, what is Amazon Event Bridge. So in this Event Bridge is a serverless service uh, that uses events to connect application components together, making it easier for developers to build scalable event-driven application. So it means that we have in AWS couple of services and that services invoke events whenever the service got hit like an ec2 instance got created or an ec2 instance being terminated or a lambda is being called or uh, suppose an iam user has been created so for that event trigger and that event is actually uh, triggered from either cloudtrail event or ec2 uh, start stop instance in anything at all and that event actually we can capture and we can modify and we can work on those event and that's happening with this event bridge architecture so there are a couple of benefits and features using this uh, amazon event bridge uh, so the first one is that um, this is uh, secure and also less custom code we have to write and the production time is faster a couple of use cases was also there and the main use cases from a security perspective is monitoring and auditing also, uh, we can schedule our application according to that, uh, according to event. So, uh, in this event uh, bridge, whole AWS event bridge consists of a couple of main components, and one of the main components is uh, event bus. So, event bus is uh, uh, event bus actually receive events from variety of sources uh, and match them to rule uh, in in particular account. So, different type of event buses uh, receive different. Uh, receive events from different sources including uh, aws services in your account or other accounts uh, custom applications services uh, third party partner application as well enabling event uh, discovery on an event bus will generate uh, event bridge schemas for events on a bus uh, but that may incur uh, some costs a uh, second component which is very vital is uh, pipes uh, so this is very new concept uh, what pipe is uh, it has a source and it has a target. So in between, um, it can filter the events and it can enrich the event by its own and then it, it will deliver the events in the target. So this is a very new concept and not all sources are supported by this. Uh, right now, Kinesis, is SQS, uh, DynamoDB, uh, Amazon Message Queue, uh, then <clears throat> Kafka uh, and Amazon uh, MSK is supported as a source. Uh, as, as I said, not all sources are supported. So this is a very new concept and this is very exciting. So maybe in future, AWS will enrich uh, this particular pipe uh, to have a different mechanism as well. So the next one is the scheduler. Uh, scheduler is a very interesting one. So uh, Amazon Event Bridge Scheduler is a serverless scheduler that allows you to create, run, and manage tasks from one central managed service. It is highly scalable. Event Bridge Scheduler allows you to uh, schedule millions of tasks that you can uh, invoke any AWS service uh, <clears throat> as a target. So it can have templated targets. Uh, so even uh, so scheduler supports uh, templated targets that you can configure quickly uh, to perform common API operations. Uh, 
uh, it has also universal targets uh, like uh, more than uh, 270 AWS services and uh, over 6000 API operations on CDU. Uh, flexible time window it has um, also uh, it has um, retry so it, if an event fails it will retry uh, automatically and it will ensure at least one delivery succeeds uh, with a response from the target. Next is uh, the integration. So AWS EventBridge have a very wide range of integration with a couple of uh, third-party partners like uh, Salesforce, uh, AppTrail, Sync, uh, then we have MongoDB, uh, etc. <coughs> From this uh, third-party sources, uh, AWS EventBridge also receive uh, events to for further processing. So uh, in a nutshell, uh, if I want to have a gist of what is an EventBridge, uh, we can, I can tell you that EventBridge or AWS Event Bridge receives uh, multiple events from sources. It has, uh, it can be third party partner, it can be AWS services, uh, everything. So it receives source and then the event comes from the source and then it is delivered to a target. In between, we can process the event, we can uh, verify from where it is coming, we can uh, do some kind of work on that particular event, uh, then we can deliver it to the target uh, eventually. So this is very interesting to work with event and this is very useful, uh, a very useful use case for data driven architecture. So if you are designing a data driven architecture, you have to have work with your, uh, with multiple events. So it might be uh, that my database is updating, that one event is created, my S3 bucket is updating, that uh, one event is created. Uh, you are putting one object in AWS S3 bucket, that is also one event is created. Um, you are running uh, database services or <coughs> You are inserting some data in your database that's also uh, create some event or you can create your manual event and put that in the event buses as well so this is very very much important in the data driven architecture if you design um, working with events is very much fun uh, so that we will do it so in this particular lecture what what i will do or what we will do uh, i will show you in a nutshell so first of all we have one ec2 instance we will create one ec2 instance and that is to uh, first of all we will create one ec2 instance and we will terminate that ec2 instance and that ec2 instance whenever we will create or terminate uh, it will generate events for creation it calls create uh, ec2 instance for termination it called termin terminate ec2 instance so those two event uh, will be created uh, and the event source is ec2.amazonaws.com why because uh, the source is ec2 so we are um, uh, we are actually spinning up EC2 instance, so the source is EC2. We are terminating EC2 instance, so the event source is always EC2. And that EC2 instance, the event will come to our custom event bus. So in our case, we will use the default event bus that every account uh, have. Whenever you uh, request an AWS account, you will have a custom default event bus. So on that particular default event bus, uh, the EC2 event uh, whether it is creation or termination will be delivered and from that event bus we will create one rule so this rule will check if an ec2 instance has been terminated or created i mean if we are working with ec2 instances it can generate multiple events for describing an ec2 instance it can generate event for terminating for shutting down for spinning up uh, for um, uh, lookup of EC2 instances, multiple events can create. But each and every event will come to our default event bus. And from that event bus, we cannot just uh, we cannot just take every event, right? So we will have to filter it. We will filter that event with our event rule. So event rules are something that we can filter out events uh, from um, a bunch of events that is come to our event bus. After filtering the events with the event rule, it will target a Lambda function. So what will that Lambda do? We can do multiple things with the Lambda. So we can process the event, we can read why uh, the event is being generated, we can read what is what particular EC2 instance has been terminated or what particular EC2 instance has been um, uh, spin up uh, that we can, uh, we can tell and then that lambda will trigger an sns topic and from that sns topic we will receive one email that uh, this instance has been terminated or this instance has been uh, spin up so this is very interesting topic uh, stay tuned uh, with me for a um, uh, couple of uh, couple of minutes to have this handy 
so how the event driven architecture works or how the events are coming into picture from event bus to event rule to lambda to sns how it works how the integration works we will see each and everything by hand uh, from scratch uh, and now the next part is how we will do it so we will do everything as infrastructure as code uh, we will uh, do coding we will generate uh, the lambda uh, we will generate the sns topic we will generate the event rule uh, everything with uh, code uh, for that we will use aws cdk uh, as our infrastructure as code uh, service uh, you can use terraform as well uh, this is also widely used if you need a terraform to be created if you need this tutorial to be in terraform please write me in the comment section uh, then i will also make another video for terraform and then we will use python as a base language for uh, developing this with aws cdk so aws cdk we will use uh, for infrastructure as code and then we will generate these uh, each and every resources with cdk along with python as a uh, programming language so uh, sounds pretty exciting to me at least and i hope you are also excited so tune me for my next lecture uh, to do some hands-on uh, to generate this uh, resources with aws cdk and to deploy and test it Thank mm -hmm. you.